So we have a fruitcake fruit mixture. Cake. Yes, for Christmas. We're going to make little fruitcake loaves. Yes. And we cover them with homemade visiplan and then we're going to decorate them. Okay. So it's quite a process. Yeah. First of all, you need in here, which I have in here, one cup each mm -hmm. of diced candied cherries, of candied mm -hmm. pineapple, also diced, pitted prunes, dried pears, one and a half cups of mixed peel, one and a half cups of chopped pecans, two cups of diced pitted dates, two cups, uh, four cups of yellow raisins, one and a half cups of currants, mm -hmm. and that's all that is in here. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, and some nuts too, right? Um, yeah, the nuts, which were the, yeah. you know, we said the pecans, or use walnuts, or use hazelnuts, whatever you have, right? How many cups of nuts? Um, one and a half cups, okay? And you got the rind and juice of one mel uh, lemon? Oh, okay, you tell it. So, um, okay, so we have that here. Now, if you don't have candy pineapple, use something else. You know, use up what you have. Yeah. Uh, you have to come to 14 and a half cups of dried fruit, including okay. plus one and a half cups of the of the nuts, right? Okay. So you come to 16 cups of mixture in here. So what we did then, we have a liquid mixture, which, which is the rind, okay, and the juice, the rind, we uh, took the rind off with this, and then we juiced it through the juicer of an orange and a lemon. This goes in the compost. Mm -hmm. And then we put in a half cup of rum. You can also use brandy. Mm -hmm. If you want any hard liquor, uh, put it in. Not a liqueur. Don't put a liqueur okay. in. Either rum or cognac or brandy, right? Mm -hmm. Half a cup and a tablespoon of um, a currant jelly, red currant jelly. Yeah. I don't have it, but I have crab apple jelly. Okay. And it slipped. I put a little bit warm in. It's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. And then we mix this all up, really nice in a big bowl, right? And mm -hmm. so what we'll do now, the next thing we do, is we have the liquid mixture and the fruit mixture. Then we have a dry mixture here. And the dry mixture is one and a half cups of flour and a teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of baking soda, and then we're going to put in, ooh, I hope I find it now, here it is, a couple of tablespoons of gingerbread spice, my own gingerbread spice, but by all means use a mixture of a half teaspoon of nutmeg, a half teaspoon of allspice, one and a half te teaspoons of cinnamon and a half a teaspoon of ground cloves or use gingerbread spice, right? We have this. So what we'll do now is to get a half a cup of, of flour because we just want that to, <coughs> sorry, to sprinkle over here and just kind of separate them a little bit, right? First. That's an extra cup of flour, right? That's I not guess it's method in this is more yeah, than yeah. as much as ingredient. Yeah, the ingredient. Yeah, it is always with these things that are such classics. The method is very important, you know, how you put it together. So yeah. see, it's a little separated now, okay? Yeah. So what I do now is I take my dry mixture and I put it over over the fruit and I have gloves on so the best thing to go is like this okay fantastic it smells so good you know the rum and the gingerbread amazing okay so here you go I have this so put this away here next thing we do is we take one cup of butter and my blender here, my mixer, my kitchen machine looks dirty, but I'm just going to leave it because I just chopped up fruit in here. So it all goes in the same cake, don't worry about it. So we put the butter in and about two cups of brown sugar. I like to use yellow sugar because the dark brown demerara sugar makes the cake just too dark. 
it, it just doesn't look good, just from an aesthetic point of view. This is not quite, but we'll put the eggs in, six eggs, and a shot of vanilla. So how many cakes does this end up making? I think we get about 12 little cakes out of okay. it. We'll see at the end how much, yeah. you know, it's different. Yeah. So we can come back and mix it all together. Okay. Okay, we're going. Okay. So here we have the mixture, which is butter, a cup of butter, two cups of, of yellow sugar, six eggs, and vanilla. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll pour is this. flour in that? No, not in oh. this one. We did the flour mixture already. Oh, okay. You know, and we and we um, kind of fluffed it, kind of yeah. um, lifted it under the, All right. yeah. under the thing. And I like to use my gingerbread spice, as I said, mm -hmm. and we have that on a different movie already posted. Okay, so what you do, and I'm going to use my hands because this is very heavy. So it's mostly fruit, there's no filler, hardly any flour, so totally different to store-bought cakes. This is a substantial What would, what would cake. filler be in? Tons of flour. Oh, yeah, okay, I mean, yeah. more dough. Yeah. The dough here just keeps it together. Yeah. And see, you want to lift it up, so you want to get everything where there's a little flour, you want it all moistened. Right? Yeah. So, now what I did here is I have these little pans. I have a whole bunch of them. Right. And I'll go and I use some uh, baking uh, baking paper. And we have the commercial big ones for the big sheets. And I kind of measure, I'll show you. Here is baking paper. So I kind of go like this on the bottom, measure the bottom. And then I kind of go like this, 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 flatten them out, slice them with the knife, okay? I'm sure you can figure this out. And then I'll take it here and cut it in half. So what we'll do now is we'll line them like this, okay? Just like this. You don't need to do the ends. You will get it out on the ends. You just go in with the knife. But the reason you need the paper, if you don't have taking paper, use uh, paper from brown paper bags. Really? Yeah, yeah, and just, yeah, they've worked fantastically. Brown paper bags, right? So I'll just show you one here. My grandma used to iron brown paper bags. Mine too. <laughs> <laughs> See? Yeah. And you were asking me before if the rum evaporates when you yeah. bake it, yes, the rum, rum evaporates, it just um, gives a little flavor to it. Mm. And how people get the rum into the fruit cakes is by pouring a whole bunch into the bottom of a cookie sheet and then setting the, the baked fruit cakes into a, a cookie tin yeah. and then just let it sit there. So this is enough. It will come up a little bit because it has baking powder and baking okay. soda. Slam it down, yeah. and it goes into You put the it pan. in a pan? Yeah. Why do you yeah. put it in a pan? Because I'm going to put water in the bottom, oh, okay. and then I'm going to cook it on very low heat, so the fruit cakes are extremely moist and wonderful. Oh, yeah. Ab yeah. Absolutely amazing. I okay? know they are, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. So I'll just do that, and then we can come back. Okay, thanks for sharing all your secrets. Thank you. <laughs> 
Well, it looks like you got your yeah. cake pots filled. Yeah. Cake I got can. them all filled. And mm -hmm. yeah, and what I do here is I cover one with um, plastic wrap. Yeah. And I go and make it flat, put a little oil on it. And the reason you want to do it, when they come out, you don't want the tops all, all, um, yeah. yeah, and they kind of stand up and it's not very good, right? So this way, they're nice and flat, and this needs a little more oil here, a little bit of a messy thing, <coughs> see? And that way, don't they don't stand out, because when they stand out, when they bake like that, yeah. the top gets a little harder, Rounder. but when they're immersed, yeah. You're much better. So what we'll do, water in the pan. And now don't forget these here need to be baked very, very slowly. So in my convection oven, yeah. 250, 250 degrees uh, for about an hour. These little ones, okay? Yeah, that's wonderful. So I'm just gonna put them in. Yeah. And I have some more here. Mm -hmm. Do, do all women have ovens like that? Oh, you always ask me that. No, <laughs> but you just have to bake okay. them in small batch. Or just do half a batch, right? And, what, and how many degrees? 250, 250 in any oven? 250 here. Yeah. I would do 275 in a regular oven. So how many do okay. we have? 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's good. We use them as presents for Christmas. Yeah. Okay? You probably make yeah. all women jealous here. Oh, I'm not. So, 250. Okay. You're like you're like the tool time guy. You got more power. More power. More power. <laughs> Hi. Hello, Dean. <laughs> are you ready to go? Yeah, we are ready to go here. Okay. Our fruit cakes are in the oven. Okay. In the meantime, we are making the marzipan. Okay. Homemade marzipan. Very simple to do. You nice. buy yourself some ground almonds yes. because you. It's very hard to grind them that fine. You have to grind them in small batches in and, a coffee grinder. And that That's even. the only way. And yeah. that even. Four cups. Yeah. And four cups of icing sugar. I need another two cups here. This is only two. And this is two. Okay. Now, we start pulsing here. Just a little bit. Just to blend it together a little bit, right? Yeah. But it's not a big deal, it will be blended anyway. It's going. Okay. So what yeah. we'll do now, a little bit of lemon juice. Okay. This here is um, sugar water. Okay. You boil up equal amounts of sugar, a cup of sugar, a cup of water, until the sugar is dissolved. And I always have it in the fridge for baking. So. Not much, okay? Not much. A tiny little bit of almond extract. Okay. And um, rose water from the Lebanon. Rose water. And Marzipan is very touchy. Mm. When it's too much, it's too much. Like too much water? Yeah, yeah, you just need to have the right consistency, yeah. okay? So. Spreading on yeah, the yeah, yeah. No. Um, so you can't incorporate flour really into it. So what you do is you take it out, and this here has the perfect consistency, absolutely perfect. 
And this you can use for many, many things. We will be making German Christmas Stollen stuffed with Mäusekorn. Yeah. So we'll use it for that as well. Why the rose water? Oh, the flavor is amazing. Yeah, it's just a yeah. ingredient. Okay. Many people make it without rose water, yeah. but rose water is the kick start. It's really okay. a good thing, right, yeah. to use. So please make your own marzipan. Don't even think of buying things like almond paste or so in the store. It's really not worth it. And you see how quick it is? Yeah. Now the Lebanese ro per uh, rose water is very good. And so is the Persian rose water. Mm. And do yourself a favor because I was sometimes very disappointed in rose waters. Uh, buy one bottle, mm -hmm. open it up right there, smell it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't cost that much, it's only a few bucks, right? Yeah. So smell it, if it's good, buy yourself more bottles. Okay. Okay. So here we have the marzipan. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Done deal. Very nice. Very fast. Four minute marzipan. Okay. Fruitcakes are done. Yeah, here they are. Yeah. And actually they took an hour and a half today. Yeah. And you have to watch that they spring back, you know, that they're mm -hmm. elastic in the middle. Right? Yeah. That's what you want to look for. I'm gonna I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get the second one too. Is the water all gone out of them? Yeah, the water is gone mostly. Yeah. One of the pans still has some in it. So what but does the water actually do? Does it steam up and keep everything it moist? It steams up, it keeps it moist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So see what you oh, do. Water so look there. here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we'll take this out. Usually yeah. I let them cool down a little bit, right? Yeah. yeah. And then... Mm, nice. Just put them like this, right? Nice. Yeah. And then we'll put a little, you know, I'll show you the decorating after. Right. Okay. Oh. Okay, mm -hmm. why well, that doesn't take you long to get on to the, the decoration part of it. Yeah, well, you can be creative as you want here, right? Yeah. We make all kinds of different ones. Nice. And I always stay very organic, um, you know, but everybody can do whatever they want to do. Yeah. I stay with the ingredients that are actually in the cake. I don't do any sprinkles or, you know, this just doesn't look good. It's kind of an earthy cake, a fruit cake. So you lay it down mm -hmm. and it's like the marzipan is rolled out. Yeah. And and this is all icing sugar, of course, yeah, right? You can't, no, 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 no. So what yeah. we have here is we put it on and then mm -hmm. we brush the icing sugar off. Mm -hmm. Okay, like this. That's okay. the marzipan. That's the marzipan. And then mm -hmm. I take my sugar solution yeah. and I go over it. See, that brings it nicely out. Are you a okay. member of the Painters Union? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and let's do a different one. Let's do this and this. Actually, this and this. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. This. Mm -hmm. Mm, this and this, and let's do uh, one of these in the middle. Okay. Yeah. And then let's go. This is playtime. Mm -hmm. And let's use the green cherries like this. Mm -hmm. Right? Beautiful, nice. beautiful presents. Yeah. Or, and of course, on your own table too. This is a piece of candied ginger here, okay. you know, almonds. And okay. what I would do here, I, these here are already glistening, but I would go over the nuts too. Yeah. With the sugar water. Okay. Just to shine it up. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm going to make a few and then you can have a look. Very nice. At our creations. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this looks like Christmas already. Yeah, isn't that nice? Yeah. yeah. And they do keep for a very long yeah. time. They do yeah. keep like even a full year. Right. Um, we we sometimes ate um, fruit cakes from the year before, right? right? So they really keep, and the marzipan keeps, and they make wonderful gifts. You can dress them up all yeah. 
all the same or you can do project for the children right. to decorate them everybody decorates their own it's very cute right yeah. you can use different bows see uh -huh. fantastic in little bags or just use cellophane yeah right here and, and as got, I said, I you've just got wanted, them all. Yeah, um, English food cake. Yeah. yeah, I put on. And because we use it for the BB, some guests want some yeah. and, and buy it for gifts. But mm -hmm. anyhow, so what you do is you roll your marzipan out on the, just to recap it, yeah. on the uh, icing sugar. Mm -hmm. And then you over, turn the, the cake over, cut over so you you so it, it's kind of hanging over yeah. like a snow-capped mountain right, right. it's yeah. supposed to be snow okay and then you take a brush and you brush all the all the icing sugar away from it yeah and then you brush it with sugar water okay. put all your decorations on and yeah. brush it again with sugar water okay and then yeah. carefully put it in saran wrap and make sure you put the bulk on the bottom yeah. like the right right so you yeah. can see it and if you have bags like we do, you can put them in bags yeah. or you can just put them in cellophane or, yeah. And you also have the option, of course, to put them into cookie, uh, into cookie tins yeah. and put some rum on the bottom and just let the rum soak up. Okay. Right? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. They look perfect. Yeah, they look very nice.